we have the sauce we want, and there is sauce on this sandwich, but it's not the sauce we want, so we're going to have to completely de-sauce these meatballs. So, um, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Yeah. Hi, I'm Brandon Jones. And I'm Alicia Camden. Only a dish as iconic as spaghetti and meatballs could have inspired such hauntingly beautiful verse. Iconic, but never perfected. Every time that I've gotten a spaghetti and meatballs dish, it just doesn't live up to the hype. It's, you, you have that vision in your head, it's that perfect emoji, and it just, you know, it's always subpar. Now, we've studied pasta in the past. Yeah, good. So we're clearly up to the task. We are going to make the perfect spaghetti and meatballs. We've assembled all of the ingredients for the perfect spaghetti and meatballs from restaurants all over New York City. Via Carota has a pasta dish that's nearly perfect, but it's not spaghetti and meatballs. So we're gonna take the noodles from that. Some of the best pasta sauce in New York City is at Carbone, a restaurant that is notoriously difficult to get a reservation at and would not leave a tub of pasta sauce by the back door for us, no matter how nicely we asked. Fico's has a meatball hero that I would go to jail for. So we're stealing the meatballs from that. And to top it off, Sweet Green will let you order a salad with Parmesan cheese as all five of your toppings. Life hack. Let's begin. This is the Tonarelli from Via Corotto that we'll be using as our base. Uh, and it is a cacio e pepe in this rich, creamy, cheesy, delicious sauce that we need to completely remove. You take the noodles one by one. As you can see, this completely removes the sauce without hurting the integrity of the noodle. We can have a, um, a, a, a noodle bowl and a cheese bowl. Oh. oh. See, it comes right off. I think the middle tine is the best tine. Slot. The points of teeth on the forks are called tines. Oh. See, down, uh, what I'm finding is down here, the stress point. Yeah, that's a really oh, that long was, noodle. That was a nice one. I could say we're really using our noodle. Oh. Perfect, chewy noodles. Reverse engineered. Oh, good lord. <laughs> yeah, don't, just get the plate, don't get my hands. In here, there should be sauce from Harm. We ordered as many orders of mozzarella sticks as we could afford uh, and asked for extra sauce. Solid logic. This sauce is the exact same pasta sauce used at Carbone. Yeah, so hack. Next time you can't get a reservation. If you're gonna look that up to fact check it, don't. If you are Carbone and you want to take it up with us in a legal way, also, don't. Boo wow. Seven or eight. So there's no sauce at all in there. Is there sauce in that one? No. Is there sauce in this one? Where's the sauce? Oh. Oh my. That is a California king size tub of. I should put this down. <laughs> More than enough sauce. You would think so much marinara sauce in one spot would amplify the smell, and it does. It does. Just a little splish splash more. I mean, yeah. Oh God, it's like seeping water, it's soup's gross. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't, um, let's just leave it down here. Okay. If I went back in time and told little Brandon Jones, hey, one day you're gonna get paid to make a Jenga tower of mozzarella sticks, I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't believe it. You're getting paid for this? Picture this, going down Hollywood Boulevard. A limo pulls up. Pop the cameras out. start TMZ. flashing all around. Window rolls down. It's a big window, and they also have a metallic window. A cigarette flicks out. Who's in there? Oh. Mm. They have a lot of windows. Fico's meatballs. Wow. wow. That is a very big meatball. <laughs> the density of the sandwich makes me think there are, in fact, between three and 30 meatballs. I do have a meatball extractor. We're gonna have to completely de-sauce these meatballs. We are going to be using centrifugal force, so. We need the three prettiest. This one sucks. 
This is actually going to work a little too well. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The meatball extractor. Oh. And for all the little arts and crafts lovers out there, you can take your, uh, what's that called? A little, little ring dish? Nick, yeah, a ring dish. This is a ring dish. Um, oh, don't. There we go. <laughs> See it? Oh, yeah. There we go. Works every time. This device was based off of the centrifuges at NASA, and those are used to get the sauce off the astronauts before they go to space. The acronym for NASA is, of course, and we can probably all say it together, no. never astronauts, Astronaut. saucy, saucy allowed. allowed. Brandon's kidding, of course. NASA used this for more of a bathroom thing. Did we get some of the sauce off? Yes. Was it the most efficient way? Yes. yes. <laughs> Don't question us ever. So this one, intact, beautiful, naked. All right. Look at that. You can order five kinds of Parmesan. Unfortunately, you do have to get it with lettuce, but that's okay, we're prepared for that. All right. Whoever gets to eat this is really lucky. I think that's good. No, this is too much. This looks strange because no one's ever seen this before. The perfect plate of spaghetti and meatballs. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Ugh, we're so confident that this is good that we are bringing in the infatuation's harshest pasta critic. Um, and he's gonna give it a try and tell us what he thinks. And he's gonna love it, because it's perfect. What do you look for in a spaghetti and meatball? Um, well, you know, there's gotta be a good sauce to noodle ratio. Um, good meatballs, obviously, not mm -hmm. too tough. You want them to be nice and tender. Mm -hmm. um, and then the sauce itself, um, maybe a little sweet, a little spicy. I think you're gonna like uh, you're it. You're in for a, a big old treat. Yeah, okay. It doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. looks bad. Um, it smells okay. Um, I would be pretty upset if I got served this in a restaurant. Oh, sorry, so let me get that for you. Yeah, thank you. It looks terrible. It's actually delicious. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> nice and salty. Mm, yeah. A little sweet from the sauce. I thought it was gonna be doo doo trash. Which kind of hurts. I think it gets a four. <laughs> oh! I mean. Wait a minute. Four out of ten. That's still. But I thought it was surprisingly good. It is. I told you it looks terrible. Four is high for this. A four is high for how it looked. Does anybody else want to try? Are you gonna are you gonna finish it? Yeah, stop eating. Oh, I'm not very hungry. It's not bad. <laughs>